Welcome back. Um, for some reason, my recorder stopped recording. I do not know why. Sorry, I'm, I'm still a bit miffed at why that stopped. Three of three. Right. Well, Han seems to have taken the brunt of it, so we'll put him up. We'll take the turn meter. done there. Wow. Didn't have R2 for the kill there. There we go. 55 shards, 50 crystals, and 600k. Oh, that was it. Okay, sorry. I was a pillock. I was expecting there to be more. Okay, so we'll come out of there. Commander Luke Skywalker. Uh, complete this event. <laughs> Seriously, complete this event. You activate. Okay, whatever. Let's activate him. And there he is activated. So, next thing to do. Actually, first thing to do is just to have a look at his base stats, I suppose. 23 strength, 31 agility, 20 tactics, 580 health, 0 protection, 120 speed. Okay, so that's at level 1. Gear level one so let's train him so that's him maxed level 85 what does that do 519 strength 771 agility 432 tactics now 9,500 on his health. And there's the other stats. Just gear one, level 85. Um, I'm not going to go through the stats on, on these gear levels here. But let's hope that hoarding has paid off. stuff that normally trips me up. Gear level 4. 
This reminds me of when I unlocked Kenobi. I'm hoping to do the same sort of thing as I did there. Which was to take him up to a um, gear 11. That's my aim here. And I've got the wrong energy maxed. I've got the, the cantina energy maxed, not my... What was the other energy called? Can't think. Mine's gone blank. Okay, so we're, I think we're about to go gear 7. So let's have a look. Where is he now? 601, 961, 503, 11,484 health, 140 speed. So it's increased by 20 already. 17, 11 on his physical chance, physical damage, sorry. And 12, 10 on his special damage. So let's upgrade. He's now gear 7. Wow, I don't know where that voice went so he's now gained 3,000 protection from going into gear 7 oh is that gonna trip me over I didn't see how many of those were needed Gear double eight. Ouch. I've been stockpiling. Oh, no. I'm not going to have enough of those. That's where... Oh, no, I fall short here. It's pointless continuing with everything else unless I've got... How many do I need? I'm guessing I need 10. Oh, you sod. Be green. You're still not green. Why are you still not green? Two of them. Right, I need two of them. So I need four, eight, eight. Do I need twenty of these? I don't have enough of these yet. Really? Thank you. Right. Let's bang that one out immediately. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, it's the same. It's the same thing, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it is. How many this time round? Ten.
That's why they give us all the crystals. Oh, wow. Two. One. Another one. I really feel like I should move as I'm doing this. Oh, come on. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. You're going to stitch me again? No, thank you. It took its time, didn't it? So strength, 825, 1263 on agility, 583 on tactics, 16,866 on health, 16,559 on protection, 146 on his speed, 2,713 on his physical damage now, 1,402 on his special, 9% resistance. like all the purples popping up so that has wow 16,900 health 22,580 on protection speed still 146 but let's go have a look at what's still got a green plus on it 2716 on fizz damage wow 42% crit chance with nothing on there 24% armor 1400 special damage resistance is still 9% so what have we got here there we go so there's 150 speed I've maxed him gear wise at least 858, 1296, 616, 18,000 health, 22,000 and a half protection. So he's got full, over 40k health protection with no mods whatsoever. 152 speed. Potency is quite low, but. Fizz damage. 2925. Whoa. This guy hits hard, doesn't he? 12%. That was a big jump on resistance as well. Getting him to the gear 11. Um, so, again, it's going to be sevens, I'm sorry, but we will just bump him up to sevens. I might be trying him out somewhere fairly soon. only got 10 omegas what do you do you don't what's this one if the target already had speed down remove 30 percent turn meter and if the target already had defense down inflict stun for one turn well, that sounds quite a decent ability in itself deal physical damage to target enemy dispel all buffs on them and inflict tenacity down for two turns with a cooldown of four Thank you, Imperial Super Commando and Gar, by the way, for the number of purple mats I've got, because I've been farming them for the past couple of weeks out of the 8th node of Cantina. So, the Omega here, remove 100% turn meter, inflict buff immunity for two turns, and reduce the cooldown of this ability by one if the target didn't have full health. Okay. Oh, what's going on with all of this? Dispel all debuffs on Luke. Loon gains 100% turn meter and recovers 20... Alright. Recovers health percentage. 
If Luke doesn't have the call to action unique buff, he gains it until the next time this ability is used. Call to action. Luke ignores taunts during his turn and has 50% accuracy, 50% critical chance and 50% critical damage. Can't be dispelled or prevented. Wow. Well, the Omega there's quite tasty. Is it an Omega? Covers forty percent. I need I'm I need omegas, but then who doesn't? Right, I think these are the Zeta ones now then. So Rebel maneuvers, Rebel allies have thirty percent counter chance, forty percent defence, and five percent offence. So all those numbers are gonna change now as we click through. I'm into the safe zone because I can't accidentally click any of these at the moment. Um, so what's this one do? Whenever an enemy resists a detrimental... De wow. Whenever an enemy resists a detrimental effect, rebel allies gain 5% turn meter. While Luke doesn't have call to action, he has a percentage counter chance and 50% defense and gains 10% term, turn meter whenever an other rebel ally takes damage. I didn't understand a word that I just read out there, so I'm going to have to read it again when we get to the end of this. Right. Huh. While... So... Hang on. While Luke doesn't have call to action, he has plus 50% counter chance and 50% defense and gains 10% turn meter whenever an other, another rebel ally takes damage. And the Zeta is while Luke doesn't have call to action, he has plus 50% critical avoidance and 100% tenacity. Wow. That looks quite funky. And there's another one. It binds all things. What, eggs? No, no. So, Luke has a percentage of potency. Whenever Luke resists a detrimental effect, he recovers 5% health. Oh, uh, so this is the potency now being covered that wasn't there. Wow. Wow. Luke has 40% let's go on here just to make sure I read the right lot Luke has plus 40% potency whenever Luke resists a detrimental effect he recovers 5% health and the Zeta is whenever Luke resists a detrimental effect he recovers 5% protection and whenever Luke inflicts a debuff he gains 10% turn meter and all other allies gain half that amount sweet this guy looks good. Right. Um, I'm probably going to take a little while deciding on how I'm going to mod him. That's code for I'm going to go and ask lots of people how do I mod him. <laughs> um, but here he is at the moment. So the top bits there haven't changed. It's potency still 1%. Okay, so it adds it as he goes. So it's what? 41% and they're all the rest of his numbers um, Commander Luke Skywalker 7 star gear 11 maxed gear ability attacks and abilities 7s um, that's how I'm going to trial him I think once I've modded him. Turn around. I want to say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.